Hey, how you doing? Welcome to a new season of The Back Nine. I'm Ed Levine. This is Jim Brooks, my guest host for the day, my co-host. Doing pretty good. You're from Indian Springs Country Club? That's right. Amazing. Country Club people watching the show. We've come a long way. You have come a long way. It's a great like, show. I got a lot of high school students. Well, thank you. And this year, it's only going to get better. We have a lot of courses to play throughout the D.C. area. We're not just going to stick with Montgomery County this year. We have some guests who are just phenomenal. Some big wigs. You've probably seen them on TV, heard them on the radio. Today, we have Keeter Betts bass player for Ella Fitzgerald for 24 years, and he's got his own jazz out right now. He's a jazz legend. Have you he's ever heard of him? Yes, I have. You will be scatting with him later on. You know I, this. I, I've been told. I'll be <laughs> scatting with, uh, with a legend. And we also have Ken Camera, Camera, Camera. He's a new guest because our original guest had to bail. Uh, his mother got sick, Marcus Johnson. We're looking out for your mother, by the way. And we have a new guest that we'll be talking to later on. And he's a musician as he's well. He's a musician as well. So we have a very musical flavor. We're not going to have any instruments out on the course, but we're going to have a good time. Now, if you want to learn more about The Back Nine, before we get going, go to thebacknine.net. That's the number nine. That's right. And it's pretty cool. It's a neat website. It's a neat website. And very we're going to have a lot of cool things on there. We might have tea time registration that and uh, a course index and all that sort of stuff. So we're working on that, so check that out. And uh, we might as well just get ready and head out to our first hole here at Needwood. Let's go play. The Big 18 at Needwood, we love it, very well kept. So let's go out and play the first hole. Take it easy, it's the back nine. Good deal. Hey now. Music on today's show is from Keeter Betts' album, Bass Buddy and Blues. For more information on this album, go to our website at www.theback9.net. Food for the back nine has been provided by California Tortilla, located at 4862 Cordell Avenue in lovely downtown Bethesda. All greens fees for today's show were provided by Needwood Golf Course, located in Durwood, Maryland. Call 301-948-1075 for more details on Needwood Golf Course. the new season at hole number two here at Needwood. I've got my foursome with me, Keeter Betts, who we're going to talk to in a little bit. Ken Kimmery. Kimmery. I'm going to get it down by the time I interview you. And Jim Brooks, our co-host. Howdy. Hey, now. Uh, hole number two. What can you say about this hole? 398 yards, rather long, and it dips down into a gully and then back up. You really have to get a nice, long first drive. And if you hit it left, you're in trouble, but you still have a good clear shot to green. You hit it right, you're in big trouble. Big mound to the right, lots of trees. Not good for a slicer. The green's covered with a couple of bunkers in front. You can hit it long and back, but if you hit it too long, there's a nice forest back there. Pretty wide open on the approach to the green. Uh, the distance is key, though. The drive is key. We did uh, OK on the first hole. I shot a triple bogey, which is good for me. Uh, you guys, what, bogey, bogey? Bogey? I had a double bogey. Double bogey. Oh, Keeter, thank you. Uh, Jim played pretty well. Putting, we have to get down. So let's see how we do here at the first signature hole, hole number two at Needwood Golf Course. something Keeter's got some golf tips that he did earlier with his daughter and we're gonna show you a few of these on the signature hole so stay tuned on this signature hole and we'll teach you how to address the ball and the first lesson is how to address the ball the pros will tell you they give you a club and tell you how to stand and they call us addressing the ball, and I say, that's wrong. That is totally wrong. This is how you address the ball. Hi, guys. How are you? You gotta talk to them. All right. How's everybody today? You feeling all right? Okay. Ready to go out there and play? 
this I know because I heard from some other golf balls, they were telling me most of the time people go out and they buy golf balls, they take them out on the golf course, and then the next thing you know, they're hollering and screaming at them. They should go to a pet shop because they're saying, whoa, whoa, sit, sit, bite, bite, get legs, run, run. That's not the way you talk to a golf ball. You have to talk to a nice and pleasant thing. Look, I want some paws, some birdies, and some eagles. Well, we're back from our first signature hole with our very first guest, Mr. Peter Betts. Well, thank you. Jazz legend. Bass player for Ella Fitzgerald for how many years? 24 years. 24 years. Seven and a half with Charlie Bird. A lot of legends. And five years with Diana Washington. So was Ella, any of those guys, uh, golfers? No, no, no. Not at none of the ladies and none of the guys, no. <laughs> so, 24 years with Ella. Yeah. What was it that kept you and Ella together so long? Because women are very finicky, and it's tough. I just did the job that was supposed to be done, that's all. That's it? Yeah. Simple enough, simple enough. Yeah. So you've done a lot of golf. When did you start golfing? I started playing golf in 1960. Really? Just as, you know, a diversion, something to do when you get on the road rather than watch TV or go to movies. And uh, then I really got into my blood. And for a while, I was down to a seven. And then when I went with Ella, I was not have a chance to play much because we'd be gone for, oh, uh, we'd be out five weeks in Europe, or we'd go out for 11 weeks or something like that. And so I didn't get a chance to play much. But now I'm starting to get back at my old age. At your old age. Right. You're, no, nah, you don't look too old to me. Now, back in the day, uh, any great jazz legends, any other jazz musicians that you played with on the course? Oh, yeah. Ray Brown, Freddie Green with Basie's band. Oh, I can name a bunch of guys. Teddy Edwards, uh, Harold Jones, who works with uh, Natalie Cole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of musicians that play golf. And they're all pretty and good very, golfers? Very good golfers. Really? So Charles Thompson, yeah. So tell me, back in that day, Obviously, for a black man, it was tough to get onto a lot of courses. There oh, probably yeah. must have been a lot of discrimination. Talk to me about what it was like back in the 60s playing golf. Well, most of that, obviously, I was here then. Mm -hmm. you know, so uh, for, I didn't really go out on the road until 64 with Ella. And then I went back in 71. But all that time around here, it wasn't much of a problem. It was some of a problem, but it started easing up as time went by. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Has it gotten better? Oh, it's better than that. I mean, these people are for the bottom line, money, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> because Unless it's country clubs, you know. So you're out there playing golf. What courses do you particularly like? Are there any courses that you've played across this country, across this planet of ours? Because you've had a chance to oh, tour yeah. that you've enjoyed a lot that you've played. Oh, I would say I could name some in California, Phoenix, Arizona, just about everywhere. There are good golf courses, you know. Now, you're still doing a lot of bass playing. In fact, you have a new CD out right. called Bass, Buddies, Buddies, and Blues. There's another one called Bass, Buddies, Blues, and Beauty. That's number two. Ethel Ennis guest on that. And there'll be a third one in September. And you did all these, produced them yourself? Yes. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And you're distributing them yourself? No, I have a distributor. And where yeah. can people pick this up? Uh, borders and towers throughout the country. And do you think this goes with golf? Do you think you can listen to this and play golf at the same time? Well, you wouldn't want to listen to it because uh, some people, I think in a certain way, 
If they hear too much music in their head, they get befuddled. Well, what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to play it while we go out to the signature. Okay. We've already played it once. All right. And uh, we're going to come right back after a couple of short messages with our second signature hole here at Needwood Golf Course. You're doing pretty well so far. Splendid. Great. Right. We'll see you in a little bit. Take care. President James Garfield could write Latin with one hand and Greek with the other simultaneously. David Muldoon used a bag of scrap paper to write over 6,000 phone messages for his adoring family. Using scrap paper helped Mr. Muldoon to reduce waste. Hello? Yeah, this is Spike. Is Tracy home? Sorry, Spike. She's out. Dad, was that the phone? Wrong number, honey. Reuse stuff today. Reduce garbage tomorrow. Pure beauty. That's what the National Kidney Foundation sees in your old car. Because where you see a worn out old clunker, we see a life saving machine. Call us. We'll gladly tow your car away and sell it for cash to pay for research and equipment to save lives. The beauty to us is obvious. The beauty to you is a tax deduction for the car's market value. What a car. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Back Nine. I'm here with Jim. Uh, I, I, you should be hosting this show because I should have killed myself after about hole six. I'm, I'm heading for high hundreds. I'm, I'm, impressed, I'm impressed with your golf game. Get out of here. I'm easily impressed, but I'm impressed with your golf. Well, thank you, you have a Jim. Nice swing. Will you, will you adopt me? I will. Okay, cool. Hole number fifteen here at Needwood Golf Course, our second signature hole. It's a doozy. It's a very pretty par three over water. We're talking oh about 151 yards or so. Lots of bunkers everywhere, so it's the key is to hit it straight and get the good distance going. You want to take a nice seven iron, maybe a six on a windy day. What are you going to use? Eight. Eight iron. Keeter and Ken, they're playing very well. Ken's just sinking putts. You never know. He might it's be cheating, cheating for all we know. He is cheating on, the, on his spot. But he's doing very well, and uh, we're going to see how we do here on hole number 15, our second signature hole here on the back nine. And Keeter is also going to give us a little tip on our short game if we end up in the bunker somewhere around there. Check it out. How do you read? When you read a newspaper, you put the newspaper up to here. Am I right or wrong? Or a book? Or you read a letter? Now, how can I stand way up here and read way down there? Oh. Take my reading glasses. Put my reading glasses on. Now, here's the ball, and I want to go into that hole. So, I will get that down there, and I will start to read from here the trail and I'm gonna go. And I'm reading. I mean I'm reading this with a fine tooth. Hmm. How about that? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now I have read the green properly. I can come back, take my glasses off now, pick up the putter. And I am ready to putt. Put the club, you know, you read the green, put the club right behind the ball like this and watch that hole. You don't have to look at this, just watch that hole and watch. You know what I mean? Voila, no problem. One 
The women, all the women, they'll come flocking. <laughs> well, welcome back to the show. We have our second guest here, Ken Ke Kimmery. Ken Kimmery. I screwed that up in the open, but I have it down now. The Ken Kimmery. What do you do? You came here on a whim. You came here in the last minute. Well, I'm a avid lover of golf, but during the daytime, um, during the week, I'm actually a producer of the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra mm -hmm. that is a in-residence orchestra at the Smithsonian Institution that performs in Washington and also travels nationally, internationally. Last year was a year of celebration of Duke Ellington, so it took us Absolutely. all the way up to Fairbanks, Alaska, down to Homestead, Florida, up to Canada, and then Istanbul, Turkey, Corey, Finland, wow. all over Europe and Asia. Unbelievable. So what does the producer do? Do you play an instrument or? Uh, I do play an instrument. On occasions I, I do play with the orchestra. I'm a drummer and a percussionist. Cool. Um, but primarily a lot of my responsibilities are making sure the musicians are there, they're ready to play, that they're happy, they're happy the music will be great. How many guys are in the band? It's a 18-piece orchestra. Wow. And for the European tour, we actually took six dancers with us to uh, show Ellington during his Cotton Club era, wow. which had uh, three men and three women dancing a lot of the traditional dances of the Cotton Club era. So sort of an audiovisual everything package right there. Absolutely. Wow. Now, do, does anyone in that group, or do you golf? Um, it, there's a few folks that golf, but primarily Keeter and myself. We found, uh, as we were on the road, during some of these tours that the time that we had in between engagements was downtime and mm -hmm. finding trying to find opportunities to fill that time we both found that we both love golf yeah. and and found that there were plenty of golf courses around the country that we could take advantage of is he a total freak on the course oh we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what about you uh i i love the game i have a lot of fun i don't take it too serious because Excellent. Of, but we have just a tremendous amount of fun going out there and, and playing. Excellent. So uh, tell me a little bit more about what you do around jazz orchestra at the Smithsonian. Uh, how are things going with that? Are they uh, making money? Or is it a money-making thing, or is it a government-sponsored thing? It's actually, because it's a Smithsonian institution, it's non-profit. It, is, it cannot uh, make a profit. Um, it's government subsidized for Washington performances. And then uh, when we travel, presenters around the country end up paying for our services to come and play. Um, I, believe it or not, I'm a federal employee, which just blows my mind coming uh, from a background of being a self-employed musician, never thinking that I'd have a full-time job. There you as, go. As a government employee. They've latched you down. Yes. We're shackled. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ken, uh, it's great having you here. You came by in the last second, and you turned out to be a pretty interesting guy. Well, Thank you, you very much. All right, we got to go to a break, but after that, we're going to head out to the third signature hole. So stick around. We'll see you next in the back nine. Kermity Frog, and this is one of my very favorite places to visit, a forest. You know, forests are great places to go if you want to camp or hike or just admire the beautiful greenery. So this is a forest, huh? Wow. Ooh, check out all these leaves. Wait a wait, tell them back home at the South Pole. As I was saying, forests are great places for everyone to visit. Not only that, forests are where we get wood, and forests help keep our air and water clean. Smell that fresh air, Millie. Forests are also home to lots of different animals. Unfortunately, <laughs> these days our forests are in serious trouble. They're being threatened by development and by people who don't respect them. It's important to save our forests, and there are things you can do to help. 
To find out, write to Forests, National Wildlife Federation, Washington, D.C., 20036. Hey, let's get a picture with the talking frog. Remember, forests, forests are, are more than, than trees. trees. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the Back Nine. I'm here with John Metzger, the one, the only, the head pro at Needwood Golf Course. Last time we came out here, we barely heard anything, and there was a lot of wind. Now, tell us about Needwood Golf Course. Well, uh, Needwood Golf Course is a public course uh, located in Rockville. We have 27 holes, an executive nine for uh, beginners, and a regulation 18. Uh, we got a new superintendent a few years ago. He's really done a great job. As Unbelievable. You, yeah, as you well know, because you play today. Um, I think uh, it's uh, you know, comparable to any golf course in the area, private or public. So I think if you're a, a high handicap, a low handicap, you're going to come out here and you're going to have uh, you know, a good time and a good challenge. And it's not oh so overbearing that uh, a beginner you know, is not going to have fun, but a good player is going to be challenged as well. It's a great layout. Give me the name of the greenskeeper because it is looking tremendous again this year. Uh, his name is Brian Blake. He comes from Springfield over in Virginia. And uh, he's been here about three years now, and he just continues to do great, great things. And the here. phone number real quick. Phone number for Needwood Golf Course, 301-948-1075. All right, John, thanks a lot for having thanks. us out here. Okay. We're going to have a great time, and let's go out to the third signature hole, our last hole on the course, 18. Well, we're winding down another show. You're right. Another long day for me. Well, I'm deep the day. Yeah, for everybody. We're at the last signature hole of the day, hole number 18 at Needwood. It's a classic. This hole, you've got to get to the top of the hill. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're a long ball hitter, because there's a lot of water down there, the long ball hitter, you can go for it, or you can lay up. I think in the case of you and I, it's lay up. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a basketball player. I'm laying up, baby. Let those other two guys try for it now. Oh, yeah, that big tree on the right, that's a classic. Oh, oh. We have to well, give that tree a name. It's called the uh, Keter tree. No, 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 no. I'm putting the blame on me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I played out here at the one time with the, union, the Musicians Union, and the guy hit his ball eight feet from that pond, and he took a 14 for every ball running in that water. So I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. That water in front is dangerous, and then you got bunkers all over the place in front of that. So let's see how we do on the 18th hole. It's not going to be pretty for me. Well, we've we'll had fun so far. We've had a lot of fun yeah. so far. So the last signature hole, hole number 18 here at Needwood Golf Course. One of those days, Ken goes through the tree, I go right at it. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's wet, we gotta go. Number three, short game. You know, it's funny how people stand way up here to try to get their short game. Imagine Manute Bowl trying to get his short game together around the green, standing way up seven feet and some out tall. When you're doing a short game, you got to do like short people are. Get down. You see, you get down to the ground and you got the short game covered. Now look at this. Short game. Now I'm ready for a short game now. I'm chipping, right? I'm down here where it is. As you get down, your voice gets lower. So I'm gonna get my short game together now. And watch this. See what I'm talking about? Today, if I've done that. <laughs> 
So how, how, how do you call that? How do you call it? You call it Alice in Wonderland or Alice in Blunderland? I call it. Yeah. I call it Sally Jesse. Yeah. It's, it's Alice all in away. Blunderland. <laughs> All the music you heard on today's show is from the legendary Keeter Betts and his album Bass Buddies and Blues. Not only can he golf, he whips up a mean bass. Greens fees for today's show were provided by Needwood Golf Course in Durwood, Maryland. Call 301-948-1075 for more information on Needwood Golf Course. Food for the back nine has been provided by California Tortilla, located at 4862 Cordell Avenue in lovely downtown Bethesda. Well, first season, second season, first episode here at Needwood. It did me in, but Jim, you had a good round. We had a good time, and uh, Ken and I were playing a double secret Nassau with you. Lost thirty-five dollars <laughs> to it. Ah, so pay up. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> Ken, you might uh, you might actually end up on tour. You played really well. Well, I don't know if I end up on tour, but uh, if I can get Keeter to finance me, I, I, gladly I'd like to <laughs> shoot for the senior tour. And Keeter, you and I are just short guys wearing green. You see, these were the long balls into these the water. Long ball hitters. Every now and then, they did Winston Churchill, and Winston Churchill has come so far to do so little. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. Keeter, always words of wisdom. I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. Remember the Back Nine. Go to thebacknine.net with the numeral nine, and you can check out when we're on and where we're on and what's going to be happening coming up. So remember, check out the Back Nine. I hope you all had fun. We had, had a lot of fun. I'd like to thank Needwood Golf Course. They were great today, treated us like kings. Absolutely. Go out here, check it out, play it. It's a lot of fun, great course. And take it easy. Get them long Stay by. Thank you, everybody. Oh, you're All welcome, right. Keeter. How are you today? Everybody okay? All right, thank you. Anybody got any problems? Yes. You have a sweater. You got a sore toe. You got a sore toe. Here, let me look at it. Let me see what's wrong with it. Oh, my goodness. No wonder you got a sore toe. Look at this toe jam all over your toe. Shame on you. Eight years old and don't know how to clean you between your toes. Come on, let me clean you off. Here. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Better. Don't feel nothing? No. Good. All right, guys. Now, we are going out there and we're going to do a job between you. All right, come on, let's get The balls out. and the clubs Woo. get together. Let's have a silent moment. Let's have a big hug. Let's shake, 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 shake. And we are ready. Here we come.